Hello? I'm sure you're tired of these cutscene tutorials, and I promise I'm not trying to milk them. Even though they do really well for some reason. But somebody was asking, how do you add, like, text to a cutscene? And seeing as I made a cutscene tutorial and a dialogue tutorial, I figured I'd just make a really fast video combining the two. So let's speedrun this. Oh my god. If you haven't watched a cutscene video, I recommend you watch that. I'm not going to explain everything as well as I did in that video, so it will be in the description. But yeah, we're going to just insert a part. We're going to turn on orientation indicator. So this is the front. We're going to move that part here. We'll anchor it. We'll put it in a folder. We'll name that folder cameras. We'll name this cam one. So this is where I want the uh, cutscene to start out. I'm not sure. This is just our first camera. So I'll point here. I'll add a few things to look at. So we'll add like a cylinder, uh, a corner wedge. And I'll add like the most handsome guy ever. Can't grab him. Okay, uh, so I'm just gonna position four cameras. One looking at everything. And this is gonna look really bad. But I'm not here for quality. I'm here to teach you how things work. So we'll move a camera there. We will then put a camera here. We'll name it uh cam two. Cam three. and cam four so we have our cameras now all right now let's actually make some text that will pop up so instead of our starter gui into the screen gui uh you can name it whatever i'm gonna name it text then inside of that you can insert a text label we're going to set the anchor point to 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 we're going to set uh, position be 0 0.5 by 0 0.9 so now it's down there Let's scale it up a little bit, actually. And then you can just set the uh, first thing in the position back to 0 0.5 to put it in the middle. Then we'll just turn text scaled on. You can add UI corners if you want. So instead of our text label, UI corner, you see it gives it like a slightly rounded off edge. You can change that right here, corner radius. And we're going to make the background color a dark color. Then we'll make the text color 3 a light color. And now we have a really like, it's nothing special. I'm going to change the background transparency a little bit. So slightly transparent, but it's, uh, this will do for a simple tutorial. This will do. I recommend you customize it. Don't just use it as it is. So I'm just gonna, uh, turn the, yeah, I'm gonna turn the uh, text storage UI thingy. I'm gonna disable it. All right. Now we're good and we can do everything. So. We're going to go into our starter GUI, insert a local script, name it cut. Bean. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the camera. So let me just make it coding thing a little bigger. We'll pull camera equals game.workbase.current camera. We can get our little camera folder now. So local cam folder equals game.workspace. Uh, wait for child cameras and i'm not gonna be using tween service in this one if you want it to smoothly move watch my other cutscene tutorial it's just gonna teleport from this one so we'll do camera dot camera type is enum dot camera type dot scriptable you have to set it to that in order to be able to change the camera otherwise when you switch to c-frame it's gonna immediately go back to the player's head and we'll do camera dot c-frame equals cam folder dot cam one dot c-frame so if we press play, we should be looking at everything. Now, okay, we'll get our text. We'll reference our uh, text thing. So local text UI equals script.parent.text local text late. Let's do text equals script.parent.text.text uh, label. And when it switches there, we'll just here, we'll just do a little like Pass dot wait five text UI dot bit enabled equals uh, true. We'll do text dot text equals this is a tutorial. You don't actually need these. Let me just yeah, I did not spell that right. There we go. Pass dot wait three. Uh, subscribe to our games you make Oreo. 
We'll do another test. I'll wait uh, three. Actually, let's make this one a four so you can see it just one second longer. Paste uh, the text thing and we'll do camera.cframe equals cam folder dot cam two dot c frame and i believe the first thing is uh, i think this is what cam two we'll do and some man we'll copy this code we'll paste it underneath we'll do body shape and we'll switch to cam three we'll copy and paste that again and we'll do another funny shape and we'll do cam four then we'll do test of eight five and we'll do camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom which will set our cutscene back to not being a cutscene it will it will keep this out of our face and i'm just gonna add a little repeat wait so game is loaded now when we play we're in and we have a cutscene This is a tutorial. Subscribe to RK Games, you make tutorial. It's pretty accurate. It's also pretty accurate. I'm not so sure about that one. That's not that's a more serious shape. Oh yeah. And when the uh, cutscene ends, we'll just do uh text UI dot Enable will be equals false. The only thing I'm gonna do is hide the shapes, so I'll just do like four IV in pairs, which is just an IV loop. Uh, cam folder if children do if uh, B is a uh, part, then B dot transparency equals one. B dot can collide equals false. B dot can equals false. Screw it. Even though you technically can't, I don't. Ah, yeah, we'll just set everything to false. So if we just run this game with, uh, you notice how like there's these cameras here, these parts. We should technically be able to see those, but when you run the game, you won't be able to see them. Yeah, let's see they're gone now. So it looks a little bit cleaner. It's just a little trick. I made a video about that as well. I think it's like the most useful Roblox loop in my opinion, or something like that. You should watch all my videos. I. Yes, besides the like really old ones, they're kind of janky. But yeah, this is how to add dialogue to like a cutscene. So watch my other cutscene tutorial and then mash this in and you'll have a pretty solid cutscene. Thanks for watching. Uh, brush your teeth.